The, the Cebuanos will feel proud of this uh, iconic bridge. So every time you open a bridge like this, people get very excited because of the, the nature of the bridge and how it looks. It's The main feature is the uh, stay cable bridge, it has a main span of 390 meters and uh, pylons which are 145 meters high. We have a five kilometer winding road through to meeting uh, the Cordova interchange. We've got just about 2,000 people working here and the um, majority are our locals. We're very thrilled about CCLX coming in. And with them already coming in, it really complements the entire setup of SRP. It brings in the foot traffic, it brings in the investors, it also makes it easier for SMC side, Il Corso, and New Start to develop as a whole. This is one of our pride to have the third bridge. Accessibility is one of the things that, in a, as a mall developer, we really need to be accessible to our market. And definitely, this is a game changer for all of us. I'm excited about the bridge. I believe it has a lot of potential to improve the livelihood of the people in our area here. The bridge will be great for the teachers who will be coming from or who live in the area there in Talisay because they don't have to travel very far. Um, they're going to have more time to spend with their families. The CCLX or what is commonly called by many the third bridge is to me a very important infrastructure project that will help not only the airport but the whole uh, province of Cebu and even the whole of Region 7. Whether they're going to the airport, whether they have business to transact, whether, whether or not they're going to work, or whether they're going to all the different uh, beaches and attractions. For one, it, it's going to be a new icon for, the, for Cebu. There's going to be an ease of transport. It's going to give a lot more chances for Cebuanos to be partner drivers because it opens up new locations, more um, chances for drivers to be part of Lala Move and give them livelihood. The bridge is really a big help uh, for us in tourism. The infrastructure is very important. To match our international airport, we, have, we must have world-class infrastructure as well. There's something romantic about bridges, and I think we should include the third bridge in all our uh, posters and in all our campaigns, and we are doing that already. It's going to be very good for our guests. We're looking at more guests going to the resort Mactan. CCLEX played a huge part in our decision to launch our fourth condominium project in Cordova. Personally, the, I feel like the biggest benefit that the CC Lex Bridge can give to me and my family is just the time that it takes to travel around. So it would be easier to enjoy the beaches of Mactan, to spend time with family anywhere around Cebu without having to spend a lot of time in traffic. Uh, it is now a landmark of, of the Cebu skyline, visible from all the surroundings. And I believe there will be a strong connection between the people and the bridge, reinforced by the eight crosses that are chopping the pylons. They will be lighting every, every night and they will represent the faith of the Cebuanos. A bridge like our very beautiful CCLX means more than just a crossing across an obstacle. It connects communities, it connects cultures, it connects people, and of course it connects relationships. I'm very proud to say that it has inspired a lot of new businesses coming into SRP in the Cebu city side and of course in the municipality of Cordoba. I'm very proud that CCLX is starting to make a difference. Thank you Mr. President Rodrigo Duterte. Natapos na rin yung 
Ano bridge dun sa Cebu? Cebu Cordova Link Expressway, the longest bridge in the Philippines with a construction cost of 30 billion pesos. Thank you so much Mr. President and congrats Cebu. At least may bago na naman tayong bridge from Cebu to Mactan. So proud lang, nakaka-proud. Thank you so much at napili po ninyo Mr. President yung Cebu na lagyan ng bridge, pinakamahabang bridge sa buong Pinas. Thank you and God bless.